I do have okay, so let's see what we have in here. Okay, so I have the um, I'm gonna turn off this reference. Um, and bring the other image plane. And move it up here and rotate it. And also move it back. Uh, it's okay if it's larger now. I'm just gonna <coughs> draw it. I'm gonna put it in a a layer. So this one needs a curve, or maybe a bunch of curves. I'm gonna do like a a curve for this piece and a curve for that. So um, select create. CV curve, and I'm going to start from um, from that part. Then here it's going to be more of a line. Now this one here is very linear, so I have to like add more points. So that's it for this piece. Of course, I could go and like uh, grab vertices here and uh, make them sharper. It takes some time. Okay, now I'm going to make the other part, which is another curve. And I'm just going to refine it. So move this. And when you build symmetrical objects like that, you want to make sure that you find the symmetry, you find the, the axis of symmetry. And if you want, um, you have to imagine the object of how it would be if you cut it in half and see where the symmetry axis is. So this is the second piece. I'm not going to do the interior parts. Obviously, it's uh, a lot of work right now. So I have the two curves, I just need to revolve them. Now the revolving axis needs to be exactly symmetrical, so I have to select this, this curve. Uh, let's bring the pivot point in the center here, and then hold down the C, uh, D, and C, and then move it all the way to the center. So I'm going to revolve this. So surfaces, revolve. 
Uh, I will try to make a polygon out of this object. So the, the revolution is going to take place uh, around the Y. So Y, 360 degrees, polygons. I'm going to go with uh, quads general, and it's the same settings that I had before. Now, nothing happens because, remember, the settings are really low, so the object is completely, um, it, has no, it has no resolution. So you have to go and add U and V. So this is the V, this is the U. So what happens when you do something like that is to, gr to attain the shape of the curve, um, there's a lot of, <clears throat> there are a lot of uh, unnecessary edges. So uh, in a way, you could start deleting some of these edge, edge loops. That's kind of my way of approaching this. So you could actually say, uh, I need these edges here. Um, maybe some of these, every other edge loop. I can press Control Delete and see the shape is still the same. Didn't change much. So I'm just trying to like save some some energy here. Maybe this one. So if you don't see any changes, that's good. And also you can select the vertices and you know. So I get my um, nice light bulb. Now this is reversed, so I have to go to my uh, normals and reverse. If I want to add a transparent material, I can go and add like a, a Lambert. And go all the way to the, to the right and this will be my lamp uh, light bulb. And I can change the color to like, let's say a light blue and make it transparent. So here's my light bulb. Now the other piece is just the, the gear. So now we need to bring that uh, pivot point all the way to here. So that's my other piece. Now hopefully that's going to be also following the same symmetry. If not, we have to like tweak it. So now the, the same exact thing, I need to go to my mesh Actually, this one I'm going to make as a NURBS, NURBS object. So I'm going to go to Surfaces, Revolve. And this time I'm going to create a NURBS object, Apply. And of course, Surfaces. Um, we have to reverse the, cur the direction of this surface. There we go. So that's done. And I'm going to paint it a different I mean I could go Let's see. I'm going to I'm going to hide it for a second. Uh the nerves are really um we haven't talked about them, but I can actually detach some of these. I can go to the isoform. Let, let's say that this one here. And say surfaces detach. So now I have this piece and that piece. So I can take that piece and paint it another color. So I can go and say select that piece and paint it more like dark. And that one, so I get this. Now all of these need to be grouped, so I'm going to select everything. I will delete the history and group. Control G. Now the pivot point of the group is somewhere in the middle of nowhere, so I need to bring it. So press C. Uh, first of all, D for the pivot point, and then C, and then bring the pivot point up here. Now I'm going to go to my side view. That's the pivot point of the group, and bring this guy, scale it, go to the top view, and I'm going to line it up with my lamp here, lamp shade. So, so this needs to be lined up perfectly. 
select it, hold V, snap it here. Actually, I'm just going to select this piece. It's easier than like, select this piece and then that piece, and then modify align objects XYZ. well so I'm just gonna eyeball it and here's the light bulb Turn off the wireframe on shaded. The curves that you, we create, we can hide them, all these curves. Uh, we can put them in a layer that says construction curves. This one. So the lamp is done. The only thing I'm uh, I don't like is uh, this. I will add a little bit more detail here with an insert edge loop tool. And of course, I haven't I haven't done the cable. I can create that on the next video. So, but overall, this is the finished floor lamp.